Well, it's Wednesday. Y'all know what time it is. Intro. I'm Paige, and thank you for watching Paige of Styles, where every Wednesday I showcase between one to three fragrances that I can't wait to wear. I'm either waiting for a certain event or situation or a season. Let's hop right on into it. So for the first one, I can't wait to wear. It's from Uncle Serge Luton's. Come on camera. Okay, maybe you don't want to do it, but this is from Uncle Serge Luton's Vetiver Oriental. This right here has become one of my favorite vetiver fragrances since the fall. Now I have worn it in the fall, lightly between in the spa um, winter time, but I want to wait. I want to see what it's going to do in the spring or summertime. Okay, I don't have nothing here. This is so beautiful right here. It's like this green herbal woody vetiver it has like either cacao or chocolate in it it has some smoky aspects maybe a slight amber aspect as well not like the amber um, ombre sotan from Serge but it do remind me of, of something of that that's in here as well this one right here just I really can't wait to see how this is going to perform in the springtime. I may wear it in the summer as well on a hot day. I'll just control my sprays because it's not the most ethereal or you know, airy fragrance, but it's not that thick as well. But I want to see, like I wore it in the fall, but that's as the temperatures are decreasing. I want to see how it feels when it's increasing for the fact this vetiver here, it's rooty, earthy. The chocolate gives it like a different type of feel to go with chocolate and vetiver. I don't have too many, you know, fragrances that, you know, has the note of chocolate to go with the main star of vetiver. So I want to see how the chocolate or cacao is going to react in high heat situations as well. But every time I wear it, this puts a smile on my face for the fact that I just feel like a lot of Uncle Serge Luton fragrances, they're very artistic, but sometimes they're hard to wear. I don't find this one too hard to wear. I do want to see how it's going to react in the 60, 70, 80 degree weather. I may test it on a 90 degree day one time. It obviously won't be that many sprays, but it's something like real woody smoky not too floral but it just seems like vetiver chocolate and whatever wood and amber is in here are the main notes of this i can't wait to wear it i mean just point blank i mean this is one of my favorite serge Luton's. i'm at number six now of the line um and yes i have santo Mag magiscule i'm not i mean I, I just feel this one makes me happier to wear than the santel one um so the next one that i will get after this is uh five o'clock jim, jim brown <laughs> gigambre whatever it is the ginger one but right now vetiver oriental is definitely on my wait list the second one on my wait list another vetiver fragrance so i don't know what's happening but i just felt like okay what are some vetiver fragrances i could wear in the spring or summer because vetiver does give off this classy but masculine some of them are soapy type of vibes um so what's better vetiver to go with your man from tom ford and that is great vetiver but not sure if it's going to show it here this is the auto toilet right here version so with this 
Don't want to spray it too many times because I'm already on my second bottle and I can't find a third one. This is just has one of the brightest citrus openings. Definitely a lot brighter to me um, than the Eau de Parfum version. Bright citrus, green and rooty vetiver. Coming off a tad bit smooth but soapy on my skin as well. This is just something that every spring and summertime I can't wait to wear. So, I mean, if you have been following me, you know, here or on page underscore Turner one on Instagram. I post this quite a bit for the fact this is one of my favorite Tom Ford fragrances. Too bad it's discontinued and it's very, very hard to even come by a bottle for the fact if I did come by a bottle and it was less than two hundred dollars of buying it because I love this fragrance so much. Uh, once again, I definitely have to thank um, Daver and I think it was Max or George. She did years ago who introduced me to the auto toilet version when everybody else was wearing the eau de parfum. Yeah, I can't wait to wear that Tom Ford Grey Vetiver auto the toilet to me is a must have for vetiver connoisseurs especially if you can find it and not you know have to give up a kidney and for the y'all heard that snap but for the third and final fragrance i'm going to showcase on this um wait on it wednesday i love this house there's nothing i mean every 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 release has been a banger so far and then especially the one that i can't actually speak upon yet that definitely deserves to be on a wait on a Wednesday. I'll wait closer to the release date. But until then, I'm going to talk about Signature Royale from the Zaharoff Signature line. This right here, out the last two releases between the Signature Royale and Signature Noir, this by far, I'm not going to say by far, but this is definitely my favorite one. You can probably tell by how much juice is gone out of it or if I did it backwards it'd probably be a little bit better but yeah this is just like this bright citrus you get not too it's not too herbal it's not too green but you definitely get those facets in it I get this invisible iris note that comes off my skin. I mean, no matter where I spray that, it comes off my skin. And it's, there's, it's a suede accord in this. Now, people must be, a lot of people think, well, you know, leather notes you generally want to wear in the fall or winter, but it's just something about the composition of this fragrance to where it just screams to me, hot sunny day, I got on, you know, a, a lightweight blazer. I'm, I'm, I'm important that day. I'm going to work or maybe, you know, just I'm a boss that day. I'm a CEO. I'm, I'm the hood CEO of the day. I'm um, just right here is just, I love this fragrance right here. I hope I'd never ever run out of this thing. Cause this is like right behind the original one. This is my favorite one. It just like, it took what the original, um, Zaharoff, signature pour on and just like freshened it up but also added that suede accord you know in the mid to late dry down so you know where it can go in a totally different direction and not be a redundant buy um, but this right here i wasn't able to wear it last spring or summer because the bottles wasn't released so now i'm going to be able to have my first full spring and summer wearings of this and I absolutely can't wait. So, you know, to end it off, once again, Zaharoff Signature Royale. So there we have it. Showcased another three fragrances. I can't wait to wear this spring or summer. Um, if you have any of those, put it down in the comments which ones you have and how you feel about them. Um, have you tried or do you have Vetiver Oriental from Serge Boutons? Have you ever tried or do you still have some of your gray vetiver from Tom Ford, but the auto toilet version? 
and do you have or have you do you want to try or have you um do you have the signature royale from zaharoff put that down in the comments i respond to all comments like the video if you liked it dislike it if you don't like it also subscribe to the channel it's free it just helps the algorithm you know present my videos to more people who may not know about it um, but until the next time let's grow and evolve together and this book of life turn to the page of styles y'all be blessed and walk in peace